Go. This is KFI, WBA Super Flyweight World Champion, and you're watching True School Sports. Yes. Um, what do you think about? I wanted to get your take on some of the fights coming up. Um, what do you think about like the uh, Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder rematch? No, I think that Fury is a good boxer. This is my favorite, but maybe uh, Wilder in that fight going to be more complicated for him because Wilder he know what he need to do. He, he fell down twice and and I hope that that, that he adjusted everything for. For, to look better in, in, in the fight, but uh, uh, Fury is a, is a good boxer, he's a good talent, you know, he had a good skill, good defense, he's a half a big, big heart, you know, and I think that could to be a complicated fight for Wilder and for Fury too, but I hope that win the best, and my favorite is, is, is Fury because I sympathize with him, but Wilder is, is it's a, it's a it's a possible big power, and he can't decide the the fight in one second. Just like that. Eh? Just, just like that, right yeah, there. Yeah, instant. yeah. And, you know, you know, everybody need to wait the the fight for to know who who win. You know? So, are, are you leaning more towards Wilder or Fury? Who who, who do you think? I have more percent in the fight for Wilder. Okay. <laughs> Last time was for Fury, you know, but now I think that. Wilder is taking more experience, in, in, more experience now, and, and I think that he's going to be better. Okay. I want to ask you one more question. What do you think about the Cuban boxing guy, Boa, and how strong he was, to, even though he had a bad ankle fighting, and he, how no, do you represent no, no. Cuban, the Cuban fighters? I think that... Gamboa. I think if Gamboa don't, don't happen in that, in, in, in the second round, it may be... They be uh, he was complicated more the fight to uh, the Mountain Davy. But happened at that and yeah. happened at that he did good in Bayern. Don't watch the best fight that Gamboa but but I thought that uh, Davy was killing him in, in three or four rounds but don't happen. And I think that Gamboa was was the same Gamboa that before wow. He yeah. killed him. And, kill and, 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 and it's it's saying that also Gambo being a Cuban boxing and he represented uh, Cuba, yeah. he showed his resiliency, his resilience to fight uh, despite the obstacles, and he and he brought up the the, yeah. the fight, the, the hunger that Cuban fighters have. Gambo is a warrior. Gambo yeah. is a warrior for all he fight, he go to fight. He he, he, he or he receive a, he receive one, uh, you know, one big punch or he yeah. or he give one back. But I think that. That he can continue, and I hope that, that he like to feel better for so, he can continue fighting. So he, because always when he fight, you know, uh, he fight good, he fight good, he's a warrior, he's a warrior. So basically you're saying, oh, four years ago, Gambo, Gambo would have beat him? Oh, of course! Four yeah. years ago, oh man! Four years back, you know, uh, Gambo killed him, killed him yeah. because Gambo is faster, he has power, he, he, he had experience how amateur, and right. no, no, no. Gamboa before he was a master. He like, was a master. Like the one who fought Crawford. He was a master. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we, the Crawford happened in, in that situation. He, you know, he don't watch uh, fighting constantly. Yeah, he was he an actor. A long time. He don't fight and and he fought and he did you know. He, he won't fight. He won't fight. He he don't have a fray never. He he's training or, or don't train Gamboa is a is a dangerous person. Yeah. He's a dangerous person. All right, Jorge, well, uh, any, any message to the boxing world about uh, y what you have going on at the gym? Any message is that everybody that I have a good team right now, I have uh, five or six uh, boxers now in very good, very good, good ones. I have uh, Isa Chamberlain, yeah, I Chamber. have one guy that, that Tony, he brought me two days ago, he's a, he's a Macedonian boxer. Okay, uh, Macedonian? Yeah, Macedonian guy. He's a, I think I saw him on Instagram today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, you know, he, he's a talent too. I have Frank Otero, I have Hyron Socarra, Nessa Machado, mm -hmm. I have Randia, Daniel uh, uh, Araujo, I have uh, Dalias Perez, I, and other more. Oh, yeah, that, Dalias Perez? You trained him? Yeah, Dalias oh, Perez is yeah. coming back okay. again, you know. And, oh, man, I am very happy. I am uh, emotionally, I feel great this year. Okay. Serious, I am very happy. I'm working very hard. Yeah. Emotionally, I feel great. When I I feel emotionally, oh, I am a danger coach. <laughs> there, there he is, Jorge Rubio.
Looking forward to a great 2020. As always, thank you, Hoy, for talking to True School Sports today. Thank you for you taking time for you know, one interview for me. And always. Good for me because I come to be in, 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 in my better moment now, and you are capturing you, you it. Work with me. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank I'm glad. That. Thank you for that. So we're gonna look at this at 2021, and we're gonna say that's what Hoy Rubio. Yeah. <laughs> I promise. I promise, and I, I, I will prove. I will prove. Me. All right. So Hoy Rubio. Thank you. Dale, le mando un saludo a todos sí. los fans, bendiciones, cuídense.